school no more, no more. Good morning. Good morning. I can actually say that th this time. It's actually only 8.30. Just kidding. 9.30 a.m. Woo! Um, sorry, I'm so energetic. I just had coffee and um, sorry I didn't have a vlog up yesterday, last night, because, you know, I was at the concert, the Kendrick Lamar concert, and I haven't gotten to edit it. When we got home, we just passed out. So I'm actually going to edit it right now, hopefully get it up in a few hours. All right, guys, got no work done at all. Been just looking at bags, researching bags, but time to take Rudy out. Are you ready? You've been so patient. Let's go. Come on. Where do you going? Stretch it out. Stretch it out. Cutie. Short walk today because Chewie actually came home for lunch. So we're going to hang out for a bit. So yeah. We go out later. Okay, Rudy? We go out later. Boy, you peed and pooped. Good job. Are you unhappy about how good things have turned out? I'm about to go to the post office, but I uh, just got a message from my bu my first buyer, and she already got the package. I just sent it out yesterday, so I was like really really shocked, and she's really happy with it. So I'm so happy about that. Yeah, I'm really happy. Okay, gotta go to the post office now. Today's vlog is quite a fail. I am eating some hot bar food again. I'm such a failure. I ate out three times this week. The Shabu Shabu, the Kelby Town from this morning, and the hot bar food right now. Did I get hot bar like earlier this week too? Maybe four times. God damn it. Anyway, I'm really, really, really exhausted today. Rudy's over there because when I was getting the hot food, um, he got into the trash like such a bad boy. I'm about to give him away. You're about to give, be given away, Rudy. I don't want you anymore. Um, I don't really have any plans. I just realized I can have some wine. And um, yeah, I'm probably just going to sit here and watch some YouTube videos, chill out. Chewie's at the gym right now. I am still so sore from like squats I did that one day without doing the bike. I just can't even like really walk properly. And we might go later out to the river, and I might take Rudy then, but we'll see. I mean, at this rate, I'm giving him away. Hi guys, sorry there's not much in today's vlog, but a friend just came over to play, um, Rudy, don't bark. Sit. Sit. I am going to preemptively stop him from barking. Sit. Good boy. Do you not like beauty videos when I leave you alone? Do you want something manlier? Oh, too bad. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to probably combine this footage with some other day, so this is probably going to be it for tonight. I might go out a little, a little later to take Rudy out and with a couple friends to smoke by the river. Um, but I'm not sure. What did you do today? Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys want? You guys eat this? I like going last. Uh, We get, we get fatty beef. Yeah. I like fatty beef. Um, Thanks, guys. Oh. So. Are you guys done? Yeah. This is like bougie. Isn't this like bougie? No, it's not okay. <laughs> It's currently 
Sunday night and um, yesterday we went to Flushing actually for dinner and I captured a little bit of it and we went to this hot pot place actually again called Mr. Hot Pot. It was delicious. It was, it was a little bit more pricey but um, I would say it's really good. If you're in the area, you can just give it a try. Um, it's definitely really good service and then the layout was nice as well. So it's Sunday night, like I said, and right now we're actually on our way to a bar, a cocktail bar in Chinatown. And I'm really excited. It's uh, one of our friends, his brother's band is playing there or something, but I'm just ready to have a really nice cocktail and we're heading there right now. We're a little bit late, but it should be okay. We're actually pretty close. so. bar from the outside. It's very inconspicuous. Alright, let's go. I'm a little drunk and we're going to get McDonald's now. Actually, I guess we could get five guys, but five guys suck. You don't like five guys. Oh my god, look at how many people there are. It's like fucking 12, 12 bucks. It's Times Square. Times Square never sinks. Yeah. We have the Popo on the left. <laughs> we have. <laughs> Alright, we're going to McDonald's. Um, what are we getting? I, I want butter, crispy butter, chicken. What you want, babe? We're getting McDonald's. That sounds pretty good, too. I'm so hardcore failing. I haven't weighed myself in, like, this whole weekend. Because I went to, I went to the hot pot place. Yeah, I don't want to weigh myself. It fucking sucks. Why? Why? You need to stop stressing about your weight. Why? I mean, okay. No stress. No stress. Why are you worried about me stressing about my weight? No stress. I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm just trying to keep it under control. I wasn't worried for a few months and then all of a sudden I was like 5,000 pounds. So I need to like start worrying. Okay, so yeah, I want to talk about um, how I dealt with my Pico's weight gain today a little bit and this is definitely not an advice segment or video or whatever because I don't advise you on what I'm doing. I'm just kind of sharing what I went through and kind of how I feel like my mindset like then and now and all of that like the transition whatever blah blah blah. First I want to say like I understand at first I read a lot of comments people were like oh it's so frustrating Pico this is so hard and I totally understand trust me I get it. It's just so hard it's like you know, you don't have to be doing anything wrong and you could be just gaining weight. And you could be doing everything right and you would not lose weight. I, I know that frustration is so annoying. It's so discouraging. It's so disheartening. It's just so frustrating. Like, I hate that. Like, sometimes I would try so hard and then I would get on the scale and be like, literally, like, fatter. And I'm like, what the fuck? It's so annoying. Like, I get it. It's so bad. <laughs> it's literally the worst. You know, like, um... You know, I, I, I used to smoke a lot with my friends and they would get munchies and they would go all out and eat all of these foods and I would control myself and not eat that much, just eat the right amount or whatever and I would gain way more weight than they ever would. 
so it's just not fair. No, it's not fair. And, you know, that's just the way it is. And, um, and then, you know, I, I, like friends would tell me like, oh, guess what? I lost 10 pounds last week because I just, I did this or like whatever. And I just think to myself, okay, well, like I never even do that ever in my life. And I keep gaining weight. So I just felt like out of, like I didn't have control. I just feel like it's impossible to lose weight and it's also impossible to stop gaining weight. I felt all of those things. Like over the winter, I definitely was super sad about it. Like a lot of times I would cry myself. A lot of times I would just be in bed and crying like thinking, why is this happening? Like I can't really do anything right. And I just so frustrated, you know, but um, and then one day or like recently, I just kind of snapped out of it. I'm like, you know what? That's just the way it is. And this is just how my body is and find ways to deal with it and, you know, like deal with it. Rudy's going crazy. And I think that's that's kind of like my the way I cope with things with anything in my life, anything, any obstacles, um, you know, big and small. I just kind of try to focus on the positive and then get over it, really. It's really hard. It's like really tough, but it is what it is. But, you know, I also think that you shouldn't just like ignore the problem or like get over it right away or something. You can't just be like, oh, yeah, I have cancer or whatever. No, but it's like... You know, like, take your time, really, be really, be frustrated with it, be sad about it, get that out of your system, and then just move on, and then find solutions, right? Like, you can be frustrated, because it is really annoying, but you have to, I mean, I have to move on and find a solution one day. I don't want to just, you know, keep being sad about it, right? So, yeah, that's just basically what I did. I just kind of, like, okay, whatever, I have the fat curse, whatever, being fat is not, you know that bad which i will talk about in a little bit because if I, th I feel like if this was like 10 years ago i would feel even worse because you know the trend when we were growing up like the late 90s the early 2000s like you know the people the popular images were like kate moss paris hilton nicole richie after she lost like 80 pounds and like super skinny Lindsay lohan like those people right but now it's like kim kardashian like curvy thicker girls and I love that I really love that personally I love that like I know probably a lot of girls are like oh that's even more unrealistic like how do you have super tiny waist and big tits and big ass like how is that possible but like it works better for my body type so I'm like all for it right but yeah so yeah you just kind of I just had to, I just it's hard it definitely is so frustrating but I just kind of forget about it and love my own body this is just my body and I'm just gonna have to deal with it and love it for that right and um, another thing about being fat and being Chinese is that it's super hard like the beauty standards for being in for being a Chinese person is just like if you're not skinny you don't even have a face like I don't even want to look at you <laughs> it's literally like, it doesn't matter if you have big boobs or big tits or big ass like it if, if you're above like a hundred pounds then you're nothing to like them this is just my impression I think Desi Perkins talked about this in her video one time like how being Latina and being super skinny is so hard like she got made fun of like why are you so skinny like all her life and it's kind of the opposite for being Chinese right or maybe just Asian in general but I can't speak to that because I'm only Chinese um, but yeah, that's just how I always felt. Like uh, when I went to college, I made these Chinese friends with who I loved. Like I loved being around them. You know, they're super funny. I loved their lingo culture. I loved everything. And then they would just like from time to time make fun of me like, oh, you're fat, you know? Like, and I was pretty skinny back then, by the way. Like I would love to be that way, like 130-ish again. I think that's pretty thin. Like I would like, I think that's as thin as I would want. But, um, you know, that's just like, because, like, I didn't have, you know, like, legs that were, like, this thin or something like that, right? But, um, yeah, even my mom, like, when I lost my job, uh, she was not, like, even till today, she's not concerned by my job whatsoever. She just, she's, every time I talk to her, she's like, oh, you should lose weight. You need to lose weight. It's really weird, right? It's like, I have a boyfriend, and I have a really loving boyfriend. We're in a really good place. And, um, why do I need to lose weight to look more attractive? For what? For Maybe it's for, like, the health reasons, but I think it is for the health reasons. Like, even, like, Chinese people are crazy sometimes. They are, like, I love China, by the way. I'm not, like, bashing China. <laughs> That's so, so stupid. Like, I'm Chinese, duh. But, like, 
a lot of Chinese relatives, if you're Chinese, you can probably totally relate. They have no filters. They'll just like say whatever and they don't think it, they don't think it might be hurtful or whatever, but they'll just like say it, right? Like I, I would go back to China and then, uh, or something, they'll just be like, oh, why is she so fat? She must eat like McDonald's every day. Like just crazy things, right? Like she must be so lazy. I don't know if they say that actually, whatever just like crazy so yeah I mean I guess the point of this is that if you are you know like if your body shape because everyone's shaped differently right um if you're not like you know consistent with the beauty standards of your own culture of your community then fuck them like do your own thing you know like make sure you wear the clothes that are flattering to you like growing up I've always wanted to be like that super stick skinny type like I would love to have that like boyish figure like that's how my fashion sense was growing up like I would love to wear a blazer um, with like nothing underneath but like I can't do that I can't wear the things that I like to because I have boobs and I have butt and I have an ass so if I wore those things I would just look huge right but now, like, the trends are changing, so it's a little bit better for me, like, just personally. But, like, I can, you know, wear more, I guess, like, tighter things, um, you know, not, like, as baggy as the trends were when we were growing up and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, frustrating. Um, but I think being 25, I realized it's kind of time to live for myself. I, I said this on Instagram, but... Like, a lot of my friends are saying, like, oh, we're getting so old, we're 25. Like, one of my best friends, she's like, oh, 25 is so old, like, you know, whatever. And I honestly cannot relate to that thought a single bit. Like, I honestly cannot. 25 is so young to me. For the most of your life, for the most of my life up to this point, I was still growing up. My brain was still underdeveloped. Like, I don't understand how you can think possibly for a single second that you're really old right now. Like, I cannot even understand that at all. And, you know, like, I know a lot of people think that way. Like, a lot of friends around me think that way. They're like, oh, we're getting so old. But that doesn't make any sense. Like, even financially, we're just going to get more and more stable over time. And I honestly feel like I gained true confidence within the past year or so. Like, I've never been, like... A gain true like esteem true ego you know i was not my own person um for most of my life up till this point because i'm now finally growing up i'm finally realizing who i am what i want in life and uh, that's it like but before that i was kind of you know like before then you grow you grow up in this i don't want to say bubble that's just stupid like grow up you know not really having t have time to explore the world yourself right you're 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 very like thrown into um everything maybe your parents or the your surroundings or whatever you just don't really have that much time to really think but now i'm like my own person i'm really happy about that really like honestly i i cannot wait for the rest of my life and you know that's just the that's just my mindset yeah so that's where I'm at and um, you know in terms of body I told you guys I'm trying to be more confident like I'm still very self-conscious about my arms and other parts of myself but I'm gonna work on those things you know like I'm sick and tired of being self-conscious and wearing long sleeve things or like just being self-conscious period like I rather work on m things that make me feel uncomfortable and then feel more comfortable about it and that's part of the working out I really love because even though you might not see results right away but you feel better for your about yourself right because you're already working out and stuff so once you feel better about yourself you'll just be more confident and that will translate and the way you carry yourself so yeah it would it will you know Nobody like cares about yourself more than you, I think. So I don't really think there's that much to worry about. I hope that makes sense, you know. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I really wanted to say. Anyways, I'm going to make tomato and egg today. Uh, a bunch of you were interested in that recipe. It is honestly super, super simple. So I'm going to make that again. 
and Chewie is very lucky because he loves that, or he's very, he feels very fortunate because he loves that dish. And I'm also gonna make the soup that I sometimes interchange. It's a very similar recipe, but it's just a tiny bit different. So if you don't want just tomato and egg, which you can have with soup, or sorry, which you can have with rice, you can also have it in like a soup form to like add to your dinner. So yeah, I'm gonna be making that tonight. Thanks for listening, guys. So honestly, all you really need are all of the things here. I beaded, beaded. I have five eggs here, just kind of like beat them together. And I have three tomatoes here. And like I said before, I have tomato sauce from, this is from Trader Joe's. This is all you really need. If you have scallions, definitely that would be great. Like green onions for flavor. But I'm just gonna, I don't have any, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here. I mean, you should add salt no matter what. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt here. And um, I'm heating up this pot. Can't see shit. I'm heating up this pot with a little bit of oil just to scramble the eggs first. So that's that. So I'm just gonna pour about half of this into this pot because remember we're doing two different dishes today. So I'm leaving a little bit for the soup. And I just kind of let them cook for a bit. So I'm just stirring this occasionally, just making regular scrambled eggs. When the eggs are done, I just set it aside first in like another bowl, just to leave it for a second. You can use a pot or pan or whatever, I just have this available. So I'm putting a little bit more oil in here, so add a bit of garlic in there for flavor. I'm doing the same for the one for the soup, so a little bit of... Uh, oil and garlic and then just throw in the tomatoes. I'm going to cook both of these for like a few minutes, whatever, five, ten minutes, doesn't really matter. I just want it to get soft and mushy and kind of get the juice out. Also don't forget to add salt. I kind of crush it a little bit because I don't like it to be super hard, you know, just kind of get it softer. Then I'm just going to add a bit more of this tomato sauce in here. Like I said, just because I like to be like super juicy and full of tomato flavor. That's why I like to add that. You don't have to, but I think it does make it a lot more delicious. And then this one is the soup one and um, looking good. So then I just add like all of this in here and then I add more water since it's soup. That's good. And then just let that simmer. Okay, so this is the non-soup one. And so this is the non-soup one and really the only difference is that we didn't add water to it. So this is like boiling looks pretty good. And I come back to the scrambled eggs and just toss this in. And then mix it up. And that's it, you guys. That's literally it. So here we have tomato egg, the non-soup version. Okay, so here's the soup version. I add a little bit more water. Make sure you add enough salt, um, you know, or else it'll be very bland. And I actually add another uh, egg and just drop this in. So the only difference is that this is not scrambled egg. Just drop it in and it'll cook. And then just cook it for a little bit more. All the egg will resurface and it's done. Okay, so here's everything. Here's tomato and egg sauteed and this is the soup and some rice. It's like the same things, but I'm super starved. I know it might not look great, but it's really good. Trust me. Give it a try and let me know. Oh, it's so yummy. So for the soup, you can also always add in like potatoes or even bok choy to make it a little bit more different. This is the first time I ate all day again. I'm so bad at this. Mm. So good. So yeah, it's basically like scrambled eggs with tomato. And um, it's really yummy.